Hey, Pinstagram. It's Terry Ann. I just want to jump on this live so I could give you a um, give you the breakdown of why I was acting the way I was acting in that interview in April. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, I did an interview about what it's like being a thrown together teacher, a thrown together homeschool teacher during COVID. And needless to say, if you seen the interview, you saw that it didn't go so well. It just was not a good time to do an interview, honestly. I should have declined it, um, but that's neither here nor there because I did the interview and it is what it is. So now, what you say? Yeah, I look a lot better, you are right. Um, in that interview I had hair clips in. I, listen it was so unorganized it was like they just closed down the school and said uh you parents be teachers figure it out we just throw you some papers <laughs> so how do I feel like I did as I said in that interview I felt like a failure but um School has started back for the fall session and things are surprisingly, surprisingly going a lot smoother. So they have a curriculum, um, they got rules and stuff in place with this Zoom school stuff. So I will say that um, some of their rules is real stupid. Like, you're in the comfort of your own house. Why do you have to ask for permission to go to the restroom in your own house? I think that's a dumb rule. And I also feel like, in a way, it's a dumb rule to wear your uniform. You is at home. I mean, it's some classes start early in the morning, so they want you to... To get up and put on a uniform shoes. You lucky they even logging on. You know, I digress. But again, I do feel like this this online session is going a lot better when, when COVID first hit because nobody really knew what was going on or what to expect. And we didn't really have a lot to work with. Now, you know, had some of us parents already been um, homeschooling our children with um, however homeschool do their stuff, then that would have been a different story. But to go from going to school to now you at home and uh, it was just crazy. And I was, when I saw that video, I was, uh, I was embarrassed, like I was ashamed a little bit, but that's how I felt at the time. So, um, another thing, the interviewer, in my opinion, was asking some of the dumbest questions to me. You didn't all, you didn't all get to see all the questions that was asked, but I felt like they was asking some dumb questions, and I was getting irritated. You know, I was already frustrated and borderline depressed because of you know, how everything was going. So, it's a no-brainer that that interview didn't go so well and wasn't going to go well. So, I just thought I'd get on here and, you know, show you how, you know, I can be, you know, I can clean up, you know, a little bit. You know, I can do something. When I got time and opportunity, but I ain't had no opportunity at that time so i was like i was out here looking all kinds of bad i was my outside was my outside was reflecting my inside so so did y'all have any questions 
um, for me before I log off of here. No, would I be a teacher under normal circumstances? Would I want to go to school for teaching and all that? No, um, I don't like children like that. I only deal with mine because they're mine. And maybe I don't like, I think I liked children before I had children, but I don't really want to deal too much, you know, no more than I got to. So to have a room, you know, what, 25, 30 children to just the one person, which would be me. Nah, somebody ain't going to make it. And it ain't going to be me the one not making it because I'm, I'm going to make it. So I ain't about to put nobody's children through that stuff, so. Teaching isn't really, you know, my forte, so, mm -mm. let's see. I know, I just addressed that I looked a mess on that interview. I, I know, I'm, it is what it is. I mean, it's out there, so, all we can do is go forward. I'm, a, I'm not in that space right now. Um, am I, like, 100% confident in what I'm doing, no, because you have variables, you know, you have to deal with your your children's personalities and the personality of the, the instructor that's online, but at the end of the day, it still falls on, you know, the parent, so. And also, another thing that's stupid is homework. Why, what's the point in all this homework for, for what reason? I mean, they don't online like all day like what seven hours and then after that you want to do work they really expect first and second and third graders to really sit through all of that and then do more stuff no i don't know if we doing that homework stuff we, we're gonna do what what they do online and do some refresher stuff to make sure it's sinking in. But outside of that, nah. That's too much stress. I ain't here for it. I've been stressed out already. So that's a negative. Hmm. <sighs> what? Okay. I see some of y'all asking some, some dumb questions too. So instead of getting ignorant, I'm going to go ahead and end this live, but I appreciate, I appreciate the good people who really care to hear what I had to say. I appreciate y'all and y'all other people. Y'all can just, 